Hey guys, welcome back to another objective review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the speed differences and performances between three drives the Sandus Ultra M3.0, Sandus, you've got to come up with a better name, the HyperX 1TB drive, yes, 1TB on a thumb drive, damn it, and the Sandus Cruiser Switch. Now, between these three, the first two, the M3.0 and the HyperX drives are USB 3.0 and the Cruiser Switch is a USB 2.0 drive. So keep that in mind while watching the rest of the video. Now, if you haven't already seen my review of the Sandus Ultra M3.0, well, the card's gonna come up from here and you can go and check it out before you watch this video or after you watch it, but do remember to watch it. And well, let's move on right into the benchmarks. Now, the bench setup is Quite simple. I test these drives using three formats XFAT, FAT32, and Mac OS Journal. And all of these drives are connected to the front USB 3.0 header on my CPU chassis. And yeah, so let's get into the numbers. Now, on FAT32, these drives perform as expected. Now, remember that FAT32 only supports up to 2 gigabytes. So the tests for 3, 4 and 5 are absent on all 3 drives. And as you can quickly see, uh, the Ultra M3.0 fares the best and gives you the best reads and writes. The Cruiser Switch gives you the lowest reads and writes. And the Transcend HyperX well, gives you performance that is between the two. Moving on to the XFAT format, well we see similar results with the M3.0 at the top, the Cruiser Switch at the bottom and the Transcend HyperX in the middle. So, so far so good, no surprises here, it is exactly what we expected. Moving on to macOS journal, things start getting a little bit creepy. The Sinus Ultra M3.0 performs well, giving you up to 100 megabytes, 100 megabits per second read speeds and the Cruiser Switch gives you somewhere around 20, 25 and that's perfectly okay but something happens to the HyperX drive and it gives you read speeds of 300 plus and write speeds of 250 plus. What the hell happened? Well, that's a question I'm asking you guys because I simply do not have the answer. Now, I ran these tests on this drive on the macOS format over days and I kept retrying it thinking I am goofing up somewhere and Blackmagic Speed, this speed test kept giving me the same damn results. For 1GB, 2GB, 3GB, 4GB, 5GB, every single time I tried this, it gave me the same damn results. So I am utterly confused. If you know the answer, please leave it down in the comments and I'll check it out and verify it. And if you're right, you get internet brownie coins. I have nothing to give away, sorry. But now that you have all of this information, can we take an educated guess on which drive is the best bang for the buck? Well, not really. Until I figure out what is happening with this HyperX drive, I can't seem to recommend it to you guys. But if you had to choose between the M3.0 and the Cruiser Switch, I would definitely recommend the M3.0. So yeah, go buy it if you're in the market for a USB drive. And remember, this one is tiny. It has a 128 gigabit chip on it and that is a lot of storage. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Ooh, it's hot in here.